Hello and welcome to Will Thing TV. I'm Dave Canole. We're checking out the brand new Lexus ES300. This is the hybrid version with 167 kilowatts of total power. $67,000 is the asking cost. $67,000 worth of hybrid luxury motoring from Lexus. This is the ES300H. This is the entry level. There's two vehicles available. 17 inch rims on this one, 18 inches on the others. One of the big talking points about the redesign has been the spindle grille. Take it or leave it, in my personal opinion. As you can see, it's a full LCD color dash. A little bit different in the way that it's uh, accessing information. We've got our uh, drive modes up here flop those around and you'll see that uh, we'll get some changes of the uh, the looks in here looks not too bad at all easy to read which is fantastic a large widescreen uh, TV style uh, screen it's not a touch screen though it's all operated via this touchpad here and I can't say that it's an improvement on the previous one because I've actually gone away with the mouse and it's all done using your fingers and as you can see it moves around up here and it's a very soft touch as well to click on there which mm, sometimes just doesn't feel quite right what is good though is the uh, redesign of the dash it's a lot cleaner through here it's not that stepped level that they used to have certainly looks a whole lot better integrated rear three-quarter view of the ES300 a little bit of a uh, BMW Audi style here especially with this uh, integrated wing and how it sort of slopes in underneath there definitely based on a uh, Toyota product and a huge boot to boot no pun intended and operated via a little button just there underneath not in the center like we normally expect as we mentioned an absolutely huge boot here's the start of the boot line it goes in oh, probably about a meter or so that way so there's a huge amount of cargo space that's been made available thanks to that uh, rear quarter design as you can see goes quite a fair way in very very handy stuff indeed one of the design quirks that Lexus has put into the ES300 set of console is having buttons on either side. So you can actually open it up from driver's side, access the uh, wireless charging port, or you can open it up from the other side as well. The downside of that is that the wireless charging port, although it looks quite handy, actually makes it very hard, especially if you have a phone with a case, to um, get it in and then actually try and pull it back out. Economy in the ES300H has been absolutely superb. There's 5.1 litres per 100 kilometres, and that's been on a purely urban cycle. As you can see, nearly 500 kilometres completed, and still not even half a tank used. Hybrid drive itself kicks in at around uh, 20, 25 kilometres an hour. Typical uh, Lexus slash Toyota in that respect, I always think that it really should come in a little bit higher up the uh, the speed range. Rear end is a little bit soft for my liking, front end very, very tight. Does oversteer a, uh, a little bit more than I would anticipate though, especially if you come into some of the slower corners, you feel like you've actually got to turn the wheel just that little bit more than certain other cars. But otherwise, of course, it's a plush, comfortable ride, very quiet inside, plenty of noise insulation. And as I said, uh, really can be a whole lot of fun to drive, especially once you get it wound up and going through some of these tight bits and you've understood just how the steering works. You can really fang it in, just dab the brakes, get some regenerative uh, battery charge back in, and then pull out and get some fire back into the belly. It's an interesting car to drive, the ES300 hybrid. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you've got into it, and especially after a week, you realise that it's actually quite a fun car to drive. Very economical, of course, with the uh, petrol engine and the hybrid system working together all the time. And turned out to be a lot better than I thought it was going to be. For a Will Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole.